vote would not be implemented unless it gained approval from the United Kingdom authorities. So is this vote just a ploy to keep the First Minister's base happy? Or is it something more substantial? Well, joining me now is the pro-independence Alba Party MP, Neil Hanvey, and Scottish Conservative pro-union MP, Murdo Fraser. Thank you both, gentlemen, for joining me this afternoon. Uh, uh, Murdo, let's start with you. Uh, Does Nicola Sturgeon have a legal basis for holding this consultative referendum? Well, that's a matter that will be determined in due course by the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom, to whom the Scottish Government have referred this question, and they will have to uh, arrive at a ruling on the legal basis. Now, Most legal opinion in Scotland would say that uh, this is a matter reserved to Westminster. And back in 2014, when we had the last Scottish referendum, that was done on the basis that the the Westminster government signed what was called a Section 30 agreement, agreeing that the Scottish government would be able to hold uh, a legally constituted uh, referendum at that point. And all parties agreed that that's what would be done. There's no such agreement this time. Uh, the UK government has said uh, now is not the time for another referendum. And indeed, Scottish public opinion does not support another referendum. I think only 28% of people in the latest opinion poll wanted another referendum within the time scale being proposed by Nicola Sturgeon by the end of uh, 2023 uh, next year. So it doesn't have public support. And I think it's highly likely the Supreme Court will say that there's no legal right for the uh, Scottish government to hold this vote. Neil Hanvey, what do you make of that argument that there's little public support for a a, a referendum rerun, at least in short order? Well, I I think it's a a ludicrous suggestion. Um, You know, Murdo is well aware that at the um, parliamentary elections in Scotland last year, um, the SNP and the Green Party won the majority of seats. And not only did they win the majority of seats in that parliament, Uh, They did so by winning over 50% of the votes cast uh, from independent supporting parties. So the public have made um, a a, a democratic expression during that election. It was very clear, both from the uh, independent supporting parties, that they wanted to advance onto uh, uh, another constitutional referendum and the the Conservatives um, were very clear that the only way to stop that was to vote for them, and they lost that election. Um, And so uh, the people of Scotland have um, spoken very clearly. Now, in terms of the the Conservative group uh, in Scotland, they've changed their mind on whether they support or don't support Boris Johnson about three or four times in recent months. So for them to say that they can change their mind about whether they support Boris Johnson or not... uh, at their will, um, what is to uh, to stop the Scottish people from uh, having their say? And, and what um, mandate do the Conservative have, Conservatives have, either north or south of the border, to impede that democratic process, given the comments that not just as I mentioned uh, this afternoon in PMQs, both the Prime Minister and the former Prime Minister, Theresa May, um, made very clear pronouncements about the importance of self-determination, which I read back to uh, Dominic Rabb at the dispatch box. And so you can't assert uh, a fundamental uh, right to self-determination and then pick and choose who that will be applied to. Well, Murdo, you've been shaking your... 